Hi, Jeremy. Hi. We're going to be doing a little bit of a back mapping and back exam on you today. I'm really focusing on the where the bones are set. Um, so we're going to be tracking all of the bones, um, doing a couple of the little adjustments here and there, as well as just getting a general check for the health of the back. Um, I know you mentioned you we're sitting at a desk a lot more than previously in the mm -hmm. last few weeks, and that it's been bothering you a little. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so we'll just go through and make sure everything's feeling really renewed for you. Um, and let me know if anything bothers you along the way, okay? Okay, thank you. So, just sanitize my hands here. And I was just taking a look at the back while we were starting the session, but I want to take a closer look for anything that could be unusual, any cuts or scrapes, any patches of dry or oily skin. There's a little bit of freckling here at the top. And there are several nevi as well in the back that we'll measure and keep track of. Taking a closer look now with a magnifying glass. Just taking a few minutes. Scanning laterally, Just going through each section of the back. There are a couple of little spots of discoloration. It's a little bit cold in here, so it could be a little bit from that. There's a bit of a blue hue in the undertone of the skin. Are you uh, uncomfortably cold right now at all? Oh no. Okay, good. Just checking the neck as well. Any pain in the neck or is it mostly the back? Um, it's mostly the back. Okay, mostly the back. Perfect, we'll take a look. All right. So I do see a couple of blemishes here, a couple of scars that have healed over but that still are missing their pigment. Um, none of them look recent. Is any of these from the last five years or so? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, so that is in line with what I'm seeing. I'm just going to be feeling for temperature now. So the arms are significantly cooler than the back. So I might have to do a little bit of work in the shoulders to get some of that blood moving and move some of that out of the way so that full circulation can go to the arms. Same thing on this side. And a little cooler, the low, mid-low back than in the upper back. So be some adjustments in there as well. I use a tool here that measures the temperature variations down the spine 
to get a really in-depth sense of anything that might be going on there. So you're gonna feel a couple of cold little prongs here, Jeremy, that's normal. I'm just gonna be sliding this up your back. Yeah, actually that looks fine. We just adjust the settings. And we do get a little bit of rise in temperature right there. Right there. Just a slight wiggle. Right there as well. Nothing drastic. It's running it along the spine as well. a little deeper into the muscles now so this could elicit some tenderness feeling any tenderness right here uh, yeah I am. okay yeah, definitely feeling that tightness right in that mid back that muscle there continue to feel palpate a little deeper Pushing down, downwards, just feeling how the muscles are resisting or reacting as well as if any movement or shifting of the bones. tension right there. I can feel a bit of a knot there. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Is that really, really uncomfortable or just mildly uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to tap slightly and I want you to just let me know if there's any nerve pain up and down the spine or any tingling or anything like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Tingling? No. Good. I'm go down the arm here. Nothing in that ulnar nerve here? No. Good. Same thing on the other side. Okay. And I'm just going to be right here on the uh, base of the sciatic nerve. Okay, Jeremy? Okay, 
So as long as there was nothing there, uh, I think we're dealing with some real muscle tightness and a couple of bones out of alignment. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of skin stretching just to try and pull up, loosen up some of that tension. I'm feeling just a little bit of swelling as well, so I'll, I'll measure that in just a moment. So I'm just going to be squeezing in a few places on the back. I'm just looking to measure the swelling especially side to side. So more swelling on the right side of the body, in the mid back, more swelling on the left side of the body, in the mid upper. Same thing with the upper, more swelling on the left side and about symmetrical in the upper back side to side sorry that's a bit uncomfortable I'll make some notes over here Let's track where the bones are now, bones of the spine, and the ribs as well. That way we can see if they've shifted after a little bit of work. So I'm going to start right here on the top. You're going to feel just a couple of marks. I have a little bit of asymmetry right there. I'm gonna do an adjustment there. A bit of widening in this um, upper back, this mid upper back region. That often we see that with people who um, are looking at computers and sort of put their necks down and it's pulling these vertebrae apart. As well as a little bunching on the lower end of the back. And these ones down here at the low back actually look pretty good. About two centimeters apart, which is typical and healthy. So I'm gonna make some slight adjustments here, Jeremy. You're gonna just feel a little bit of pressure. I'm just trying to shift the joints into place. Good. So 
trying to stretch this out here. I think I need to do just a little bit of soft tissue work. There, there just nothing wants to move. It's just really stuck. Try again, okay? Deep breath in. And out. Good. You just have you put your arm behind your back. Like that. Very good. Just relax as best you can. Just gonna get underneath this shoulder blade. Do you tend to? Um, you're right-handed. Um, yes. Okay. I can definitely feel a little bit more tension on this right side under the shoulder blade here. Feel all those little mm -hmm. bumps and crackles. Mm. And I want to give your back a little bit of a break for now. It's feeling quite warm already. I think you're definitely very tense and very tender. So we can't do too much at once. I'll just take a look at everything else that's going on here. Just doing a little bit of a mapping of everything I'm seeing on the skin. And then we'll try a little bit more. So I'm going to circle a few things I want to take a closer look at. We have Several moles, nevi, larger freckles. And I can even see those, just that measuring of the uh, swelling in your back has left some red marks and um, that just goes to show how sensitive and swollen the back is. Okay, let's take a look at these. are primarily clustered on the mid-back, with just a couple on the upper. The majority of these are flat, with the exception of this one, which I know we've looked at before and we have actually done a biopsy on that one and it is benign, um, although it may look a little threatening. But we're just going to go ahead and make sure that it's not growing. Let me just measure the So that is the same as last time, so we'll just continue to watch it. Okay, Jeremy, there's nothing else concerning I want to add to this list. There is this one right here. The borders are slight asymmetric, um, but I want to just watch it for now. And if it changes at all between now and our next visit, we'll go ahead and order that biopsy, but it is only half a centimeter wide and about 0.75 uh, the other way around, so it is relatively small and again flat, consistent in the colors. Not too concerning. Okay. The back has cooled off a little bit, Jeremy, so I want to do a couple of more uh, adjustments. I'm just going to be using the back of a pen. So it's going to feel um, exactly like you're clicking the back of the a pen on your back. And what that does is just send a slight vibration um, to sort of loosen up the back, make those small adjustments, and uh, should help align, get you in alignment. All right, so 
Again, I'm just going to feel a little clicks, okay? in the neck here. Deep breath in. No. Oh, little crack there. Perfect. Feel the head. One right here, okay, Jeremy? How's everything feeling now? Everything's good. No discomfort? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, we're taking a feeling the temperature. spine and just those couple of problem areas, see if we had made any improvements. So we had just a little bit of clustering right here. And maybe slight movement there. Slight movement on that joint. These ones are pretty stuck. Doesn't look, feel like much has changed, so we'll have to do a little bit more work on those next time you come in, okay? All right, let's get you cleaned off here. You're gonna feel cold spray. Jeremy, I've got most of it off. It's just gonna, uh, the stuff that's bled a little bit into the skin will just come off in your next shower, okay? Yeah, thank you. So go ahead and just pull this up for you. 
We do have our office assistant um, just on your legs there. So that's as far as this will go, but I want you to just stay here. I'm going to warm up the skin just a little. Okay. All right, is there anything else I can do for you today, Jeremy? No, that's it. All right, so that was... Um, just one of many sessions, I think. You're really tight here, especially if you're going to be sitting like that all day. Um, you benefit for coming back in for um, some more deep tissue massage, um, some more light scratching stimulation, as well as uh, just additional adjustments, okay? Okay. All right, thank you.